Hello, today we embark on an exciting journey back in time to explore the sitcom Laverne and Shirley. I'm sure many of you have fond memories of this classic show. Laverne and Shirley is a timeless gem that has left indelible mark on television history. Join us as we relive the magic, revisiting those with the entire cast of then and now. We will explore the names and initial ages of the talented actors on the show and witness their transformation in 2024. So without further ado, let's dive into the world of Laverne and Shirley. Lynn Mary Stewart was born in 1946 in the sitcom she plays Barbara Tedesco. In 1977, when she was in the sitcom, she was 31 and now she's 77. Sailors are when they're on leave, they like to cut loose and get a little tipsy. Mm. One night is tipsy, four nights is drunk. No, are she blue! She would be like... <laughs> <laughs> it just made me laugh. Well, I'm a New Yorker, so when I go home, like for the holidays or whatever. David L. Lander was born in 1947 in the sitcom he plays Andrew Squigman. In 1976, when he was in the sitcom, he was 29 and sadly passed away on December 4th, 2020, at 73. Leave that like Jay Mansfield wants my body. <laughs> what does she want with your body for? She got a beautiful one of her own. <laughs> Okay, are we ready? Yeah, you blew the whole joke. Uh, uh, you had the joke. I give you the greatest intro and that's it. Don't worry, Cheryl. You're Prince Charming. Eddie Mecca was born in 1952 in the sitcom he plays Carmen Rogusa. In 1976, when he was in the sitcom, he was 24 and sadly passed away on November 27, 2021 at 69. You mean she couldn't cook and clean? <laughs> I shook her hand and I left. And at that very moment, uh, Laverne and Shirley had been on Happy Days, uh, playing, uh, you know, the two, two bimbo dates. Right. And Penny Marshall was born in 1943. In the sitcom, she plays Laverne DeFazio. In 1976, when she was in the sitcom, she was 33. And sadly, she passed away on December 17, 2018, at 75. Very simply, just talk to them one at a time. Should take you two minutes. <laughs> Where are you going? But so I didn't have to explain. But I had a, I do a, sh a show, and then they give me pages, read them, and so I shot pieces for another. Cindy Williams was born in 1947 in the sitcom she plays Shirley Feeney. In 1976, when she was in the sitcom, she was 29, and sadly she passed away on January 25th, 2023, at 75. They speeded up the conveyor belt. Waldo couldn't keep up with the bottles. He got a little confused and capped his thumb. <laughs> were real. You know, when she get upset with me, it would be real. And it just, I just, you know, let it roll off my back. Ed Marinero was born in 1950 in the sitcom he plays Sonny St. Jackass. In 1980, when he was in the sitcom, he was 30 years old, and now he's 74. Listen. <laughs> Listen, I only got a minute. I'm doing an act tomorrow night at your father's grand opening, yeah. and I need a beautiful woman to assist me. Who do you think? And, you know, it was kind of cool. I mean, I don't have a whole lot of contact anymore with the, the league or the Vikings. I go back to their Legends weekend. Anyway, so I Betty Garrett was born in 1919 in the sitcom she plays Edna Babish. In 1976, when she was in the sitcom, she was 57, and sadly she passed away on February 12, 2011, at 91. It's a surprise. A week ago, Frank and I went to Tijuana. We brought you each a Mexican souvenir. Oh, gracias! You were our teacher, and... Uh, where he came up, what is it? He was a good actor, very good actor, but I had never seen Leslie Easterbrook was born in 1949 in the sitcom she played Rhonda Lee. In 1980, when she was in the sitcom, she was 31, and now she's 74. And so, Shirley Feeney, on the day of your wedding shower, the day before your wedding, I proudly give to you... Hi! Here's your pie. Thanks, Rhonda. It's just what I wanted. Yeah. 
there's nothing that's exciting, you know. I've done stuff, but it isn't like Devil's Reject, so. Oh. <laughs> Vicky Lawrence was born in 1949. In the sitcom, she played surgeon Alvinia T. Plount. In 1979, when she was in the sitcom, she was 30 years old, and now she's 75. I am your new drill, Sergeant. Sergeant White. <laughs> you are where every kid in this school would give their right arm to be. Yeah. yeah. He said, if you want my opinion, I would go sit in the audience and watch the best Henry Wingler was born in 1945. In the sitcom, he plays Arthur Fonzarelli. In 1976, when he was in the sitcom, he was 31, and now he's 78. We are engaged. <laughs> I am betrothed to one Laverne DeFazio. And uh, right, uh... And all of their friends and the children that come, and my granddaughters come, and give out the candy. And I walked into the house, and he was... Michael McKean was born in 1947. In the sitcom, he plays Lenny Konowski. In 1976, when he was in the sitcom, he was 29, and now he's 76. Mom, this is really cool. Mom, I've earned just a couple of bucks to help out a couple of lost souls on a road to no place. Oh, what are you doing? You know I ain't... That level of frustration. And imagine being a, a sensitive man whose job is to be the least sensitive guy in the room. Carol White was born in 1943. In the sitcom, she plays Rosie Quinbaum. In 1976, when she was in the sitcom, she was 33. And sadly, she passed away on September 16, 1991, at the age of 48. Ready for a change? <laughs> well, we'll be ready in a minute. You know, not everybody gets a night on the town with Big Rosie and her wall-to-wall -wall checkbook. Phil Foster was born in 1913. In the sitcom, he played Frank DeFazio. In 1976, when he was in the sitcom, he was 63 and sadly passed away on July 8, 1985, at 72. Middle of the night, Frank Zupo! <laughs> Charlie, this is Frank DeFazio. <laughs> When we reflect on the incredible journey of Laverne and Shirley that took place from 1976 to 1983, witnessing their growth and transformation, we can see that the connection from those years left a lasting legacy. Their story continues to resonate with fans around the world. And as always, show some love, hit the like button, subscribe for more, and hit the bell to never miss my new content.